Hey, hi, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming Channel, where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites every single time. Folks, it is wonderful to be back here with you again for more continued glorious adventures in Dead Cells. Well, we've had just a great time playing this game out here. I look forward to coming back to it every time because, you know, every time we play, oh wow, every time we jump in, uh, we're opening up new stuff and finding new powers and coming across new weapons. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff to open up and I feel like every time I'm jumping in, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little bit better. My, my dead cells, powers and knowledge is progressing, right? And I think that you all have helped me quite a bit in the comments as well. Specifically with things like, hey, you forgot to put Leg Hugger back out. Reveals invisible enemies. Well, that is kind of interesting, isn't it? Victims burn when they die, plus 80% damage to a poisoned target. Just wish this thing did poison in and of itself. This does sound pretty good, though. Let's do this. We're going to melt this down. And upgrading items to better levels of quality, you know, I, that stuff's just on my mind a little bit more now. Uh, speaking of upgrades... I'm going to go for this this run. I want to see what this is. Got it from Mama Tick. Should be something good. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be a poison weapon of some kind. Uh, speaking of that, let's do this. Launches a grenade. Okay. And we'll go with that as well. Perfect. So speaking of upgrades, I played one run off camera and put a bunch more cells into our juice, you know, the, the health juice, and got another use of the bottle of juice. So now we got plenty of that Sunny D that gives us the health back, right? You remember Sunny D? What a time. I'm actually going to come down here and see what we can see. You know, while we're cruising along on the timed doors, I, I think we'll keep doing that as long as we can. All right, what do we got here? Damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. That sounds wonderful. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, wait a second. Can we go over here? All right. It looked like it was open. So if you were with us last time, we had an epic run. We were out there masquerading as the Santa Claus. No, seriously. We we really were. We were, we were galvanting as Santa himself. Turns out this game has awesome costumes. Uh, this time around, didn't go with a costume, went back to uh, Old Faithful, but I will say, got a little bit of a hairdo change. I, uh, I visited the Great Clips that's located in the hub area, and uh, they hooked me up with this little pink do that I'm sporting now. Uh, it, it's trending, so I, I figured, hey, let's, uh, let's get in there with this. We'll, we'll, see. we'll see what we can see, right? Um, so far, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So we're going to have a nice run today. We're going to have fun. And you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to get far enough where we can run into the blacksmith and give him some dead cells. So that way we can have even more of an ability to run into higher quality 
gear along the way. So, ooh, didn't even see that. So that's going to be the goal. Find the guy, pay the guy. And hopefully get a little bit further, right? Maybe what we'll do is visit that area that we didn't get to go to last time. Now, this, of course, is all dependent on... All right, I would like to get that if we can. Looks like I gotta... Looks like I don't have the... Oh, I was gonna say, I don't have the ability, but I, but I do. Perfect. I'm trying to be fast at the same time here, because I value those cell doors. Uh, well, I mean, it is level four. Yes. I mean, what's the point of having the gold if we can't do fun things with it, right? Okay. Oh, man, I'm just walking right into them. That's okay, though. I think we gotta start stepping on it, though, time-wise. Oh, jeez. Listen to me. All right. I do want the shiny. I think I'm just going to vote based on HP this time. We should be getting up towards our objective here. Let's see, what do we got? No, not yet. I'm not going to go down there. Oh, wow. A legendary? Inflict critical hits. Okay, so plus 75% damage for hits in the back, plus 30% damage for hits in the back, shoots an arrow upward, shoots an arrow in front. I mean, we have to. We have to. It's just impossible not to. Oh, wow. They're, uh... They're not kidding about that damage to the back. All right. I think we're gonna have a good run with the old uh, crowbar here. And you know, that's the value of paying off the blacksmith because you can run into this type of gear a lot more often. All right, here we go. Don't even bother skeletons. Gonna fly right through. There it is. Cheers to you, by the way. Let's take a quick sip here while we can. Hmm. Wonderful. Okay, what do we got? The Whip Sword. Okay. It's got that plus 100% damage taken thing. Um, and... Wouldn't you know, I don't I don't think I ever put the leg hugger out after getting it. Man. I talk a good game about getting better and then I uh I goof up. Um This doesn't sound too bad. Why don't we go with that? And then we'll melt this one down. All right, this time I won't forget Leg Hugger. I promise. We've got 40. That's uh, that's a lot. I don't want to open the the Scythe Claw just yet. Um, not ready to. Oh, so this is a mutation. Melee attacks slow down enemies. For I mean, that would be nice. 
Melee attacks restore a small amount of HP depending on attack damage as long as you have an active speed buff. This sounds cool. Now let's put a little bit in that. We don't need to invest in the outfits just yet. I think we need the stuff up here a lot more. Um, we recycle a hell of a lot, so we'll go with that. Get a little bit more money. We don't need to reforge, but we will upgrade the quality. Plus 70% damage to a stunned target. Okay, so this does not stun... This does not stun. Let's reforge. A victim of bleeding spreads it to other enemies nearby. That's wonderful. Victims burn when they die. Okay, that is tremendous. Um, I think we will upgrade this. All right, well, that's fine. And let's go with that. Okay, so we've got a legendary weapon. We have a leg hugger that I'm going to remember to use this time. I, I feel good about where this is going. And so far, we've kept up with the timed doors. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right. So we're going to keep the speed on. Because I think, based on what we've got going right now, I think we could have a successful outing against old Death, you know? He's going to be coming up. All right, we've talked about the guys that shoot the projectiles through the floor. Not a huge fan. Oh, goodness. Oh, all right. Don't worry. I, I planned it that way. Okay. You know, even if you don't hit him in the backside and you get that extra burst of damage, the weapon does so much organically. Uh, let's get that bigger boost. You guys are gone before I can even take advantage of the trap. Okay, let's... Uh, let's go back over here, I guess, and head up from there. There we go. Oh, that was... Okay. That was super fast. Damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. Downward smash. No, I think... Uh, I think we'll keep what we got. Melt this down. All right. I'm kind of doing this thing where I <clears throat> glance over at the map while I'm going along. Sometimes the map identifies the uh, stat boost things that you can collect along the way. Uh, I love that it's got this higher arc as well, so you can hit the flying guys without jumping. There are certainly times that you still need to jump, but... Uh, I think we're good on those. We're going to warp back over to here. I wonder if the exit is on the left side of the map this time. I have seen that once or twice. Up here. 
gonna take a quick sip because why the hell not? And it does look like our exit is on this side. Now, if I remember right, we do not have a timed door on this one, but we'll see it um, after the boss, as long as we hit the time requirement, which I, I think we'll have no problem doing that. Okay, uh, definitely don't want to reforge that. You know, I think we're good here. I'm pretty happy with what we've got laid out there. Melee kills reduce skill cooldowns. See, this could be nice because we do have a deployed skill in the trap. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. Why not? See, sometimes we can have nice things. Do your thing, buddy. We're coming for you. Reminder to myself to put the leg hugger out there. I wish you would just stay out, you know? It would help goats like me. Let's get behind him if we can. Okay, okay. All right, let's get a drink. Come on. Slid through that one. Let's take a drink real quick. Folks, not bad. Not bad at all. Love how all the little things. All right, I will probably never take the broadsword again. It's just not compatible with my play style. It's, it's just too long. Too long of a swing on the broadsword. Just don't love that style of weapon. Always kind of been that way across video games, you know? I, I, I never go with the gigantic swords in the uh, Soulsborne games either. Wow, we got a ton of cells, don't we? Okay, poison has no effect on you. Damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. Double crossbow matic. Shoots at two nearby enemies. Burns the ground when destroyed, plus 40% on electrified target. Shots pierce the first target. You know, I wouldn't mind replacing Leg Hugger with something like this. Let's do it. You know, we've got that skill. Well, mutation, rather. Uh, where we get buff. I'm going to put all of them in this. Okay, so now 40% of the items will be of plus quality. Now 50%. That's awesome. Okay, that's gonna be a huge help. Uh, we're good on that. We will fill this up. And we are off to the Stilts Village. Or the Stilt Village. Okay. Those guys are such a menace with those bombs. You know what I mean? Now I'm just gonna come up right behind them. Let them have it. 
That's what we're doing now. Sneaking up on these guys from behind and beating some ass. Oh, man. It's like half my life on that one. Wow. I see big hits coming from these guys. All right, what do we got here? Well, we're going to take it just to... Uh, just to melt it down. Oh, goodness. Let's take a drink. Wow. Man. Okay. That chicken leg would have been good, like, two seconds ago. Um... I'm gonna go with that. And we're gonna go in the key door, as we have to. Man. Rough start, I gotta say. At least I didn't come down on those spikes like I usually do this time. Maybe I've learned a little. Oh, a public message. Several identical messages, all stamped with the king's seal. Citizens, anyone behaving strangely or manifesting signs of illness must be reported to the local patrol promptly and without exception. There's something written under one of the signs. Anyone. That means everyone. Okay. Well, there you have it. We're just rounding them up out there. I like that we popped right in on the key one. It's pretty great. Wow. Oh my goodness, folks. What an ending to what was looking like a solid run. Should we jump right back in and do another one? I think we should. I think we owe it to ourselves. Let's do it. Let's go vanilla this time, and that way we can... Oh, it's the broadsword. Stinkies. That way... We can... Potentially... Make it into... Dracula's for real castle. What is that? Rampart. Looks like a rare shield, maybe? Speaking of shields. All right. Yeah, that area gave me a uh, tough time that time. Just never know. Uh, let's keep going. Toxic sewers, should we leave? Let's do it. Oh, the blood sword. Plus 175% damage to a frozen target. The victim's remains explode. Yeah. I love the blood sword. Let's do that for sure. Alright, 25 cells. 
Uh, I am leaning towards the recycling, but you know what? I know we just got the blood sword. Let's wait on the scythe claw, but I do want to see that in this run. Should be able to open up both the... We'll do this too. Launches a grenade. Perfect. And uh, da, 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 da. let's do the combo. A greenish substance oozed its way. Alright. Very powerful so far. Liking it. My goodness. Those hits really take down a lot of health. That's the nice thing about having so many uses. Sunny D. By the way, the, the juice will forever be known as Sunny D now. We're quite thirsty this run so far. here. Oh. oh. Let's come down here. Oh. Alright, I need to find the exit. Right meow. Oh, that's so funny. Right meow. Look who shows up. Y'all got an exit up here. At all. Oh, that'd be nice. I like that. Exit, maybe? Hey, this will uh, give us some health. That helps a little bit. 22 is better than one. Okay, don't want to get hit by any of those and no upside to going up there. Oh, I don't know that we should be doing this. Yeah, we're going to have to pass on that guy. Oh, no. Just looking for a way out. Come on. Hey, we made it. That was filthy. That really was. I feel terribly about it. Okay. Firebrands 5 plus. Victims' remains explode. Poisons enemies that wound you. I like that. Okay. I think we're going to go with that. Yeah, you would agree with me based on that previous performance that there are lots of enemies that end up wounding us along the way. Now, would it be the worst thing in the world if we just tried this Scythe Claw right now? Let's do it. And let's 
put the rest into here. Let's see what this thing looks like. It spreads inflammable oil on the enemy, plus 20% damage, and cannot be interrupted by an enemy's attack. Okay, so let's... Oh, interesting. So you can switch claws up. Wow, okay. Well, um... Oh my goodness, okay. Well, uh, let's melt this down and let's take that into the backpack just in case. Long press to empty the backpack. Oh, interesting, okay. Just in case we hate the cloth, right? Uh, we will go ahead and upgrade that. Oh, it stuns now too. That's cool. Uh, let's do Vengeance. And which is the side that stuns? All right, so it's the one that we have on right now. Okay, good, good, good. So I'm probably going to spend more time in this area looking for uh, the stat increases. Finding out that, you know, cruising through the area has its upside, but, but there's certainly some downside to it as well because, you know, you miss out on a lot of those opportunities uh, for the, the stat buffs. And then when you take those, what would in other runs be, you know, not as big of a deal hits, uh, they're, they're a lot more meaningful. There we go. Don't need the kebab right at the moment. Interesting. Um, yeah, sure, we'll take it. Should have warped. Should have warped. That's okay. So how do I feel about the weapon so far? Um, I think it's interesting because, you know, we, we did pull this off uh, a tougher enemy. So I think it, it is it is powerful, uh, which I like. But it's, it's another one of those weapons where it's got a long wind-up. And, uh, you know, when I think about the Sith, uh, that I like so much. It's got a little bit of a wind-up to it as well, but there's there's a huge payoff because you're turning the enemy souls... Oh, God. Turning the enemy souls into um, grenades, basically. All right, so we're going to go purpley. I, well, yeah, we're going to go purpley. Would I go back to the blood sword at some point? I don't know. I'm I'm thinking about it. Oh jeez, doesn't go anywhere. Oh man. There we go. I was gonna say let's give some use to the other claw as well. Looks like that one is more of a side swing, which is interesting. Oh, 
Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. That's totally on me. Let's come down here. There we go. Uh, we're going to go with this. how you can swing right through the shield. That was interesting. And let's go Talony this time. Kind of balancing between those just in case I do end up going back to the Blood Sword. Back up we go. Hey, there's something. What do we got here? Lightning bolt. Okay. You know, I think I remember having the lightning bolt uh, back in the day when I was uh, playing the game in, in early access. And I think I remember it being pretty good. That'll be interesting to try. So it looks like we're going to make it. Eight minutes and 29 seconds. So that should be okay on uh, the, the rest of the timed stuff. 30. Ooh. Join the dark side. Yes. Okay. And, uh, I don't know. I suppose we want to do that. Victims burn when they die. All right. Perfect. Let's get one more mutation. Let's go with this. We do have a skill that we can deploy. Which I know that I, I don't always remember to plunk down. Uh, but I think I'm, I'm extra good about it during boss encounters. Especially if I know I'm getting some kind of a buff from it. Oh, goodness. So the, the switching from one to the other is uh, really great. Oops. All right, let's uh, take a sip of Sunny D here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Wrong way. Plunk this down. Okay, that works. We got him in the air. Hey, a win is a win is a win, right? What do we got here? Ammo. Ammo. Okay. Uh, the Panchaku 5. We're going to melt that down. And electrocutes nearby enemies for 8 seconds. Generates a toxic cloud around you. But it inflicts... Hmm. Five damage. Um. I'm gonna hold out for other stuff. Now what do we got here? The cudgel emits a toxic cloud when you take damage. I kind of like the Toxic Cloud even better. Let's do that. 
That one's good too. I don't know. I'm, I'm into the cloud for some reason. Uh, let's give this guy 10. That's good. And that leaves 20 for recycling. Perfect. I like how it's just like, yeah, it gives more than the previous version. And then next time, if there is a next time, you know, if we get to this hub area again, uh, we'll go with the lightning. We'll see how that works. We want to do the stilt village? Yeah, I think so. I think the long reach of this weapon might be super helpful against the dudes in this area. We're going to find out. So far, that is true. Yeah, I am liking this. All right, we're gonna go with health. Uh, that switch just does a massive amount. Uh-oh. Ow! Oh! Folks. That's the way those are going to go down. Not the greatest runs we've ever had, but... Uh, definitely continue opening things up and seeing some new weapons in action. That's fun. This is a great game. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the runs today. And I really appreciate your support and you hanging out here. Uh, let's do this again sometime soon. We'll get together. We'll play a roguelike or a roguelite. And uh, you know, we'll do that because that's what we do every time out on this channel. And we'll give away a video game at least once a week because those are fun to do as well. We can do those because of support from folks like you. So thank you again. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Take care.